Hello guys, on this video I'm going to create a lettering design with a pattern background. To be more specific, the background will not be an actual pattern but it will look like one. It will be more like a fake pattern. So let's start by creating a custom lettering on the iPad Pro using Procreate app. Instead you can use a font on Illustrator. By the way, on this video I'm going to give one of my fonts for free, but we're going to see more about this later. On here, the brush I'm using is the solid brush and is available on the link in the description. So now that we have completed the custom lettering, we go into Adobe Illustrator and we create a new document. The new document I'm creating is 2000 by 1200 pixels. First things first, we take in the ellipse tool and we're creating an ellipse. We click once and then we set it to 200 by 200 pixels. Then we're going to add a color. I will choose for the field this light green and for the stroke I'm going to use a width of 10 points. Then we right click and we select transform and scale. We set the uniform to 10% and we click on the copy. Then we take in the selection tool and we select it all. Now we're going to object blend make now again we go to object blend and select blend options we set the spacing to specify steps and we set the number to three we click ok now we need to move the circle on the bottom left corner we need to make sure it will be exactly on the corner now we select effect Distort and transform and transform. On the move section we set both to minus 100. Then we click on the reflect X. And we set the copies to how many we need to fill the height of the artboard. In this case we need 12. We click OK. Now we need to copy the main circle. So I'm holding the option or alt key, I click and drag, but I also hold the shift key so it will be straight. I leave it around here that I see that both these circles are next to each other. Now that we did the first copy, if I click command D or control D on a PC, it will repeat exactly the last move. I will repeat it as many times as I need to fill the rest of the artboard. Now we select all the circles and we group this object. We can either click Command or Ctrl G or go into Object and Group. Now we have created the fake pattern. And I'm saying fake because it's created by multiple objects, not just one object filled with a pattern. So we can go and lock this group. So it will not be affected by the editing of the lettering. Now we can add the custom lettering, but as I mentioned before, we can use also any type or any font we'd like. But before that, let's have a look on a free multilingual typeface and how to get it. On Creative Market, you can download it for free, but it will be free for only five more days here. So another way to get it is through the Behance website and click on the Norsanda font and go to the bottom and click the free download link 
This typeface supports more than 15 languages as it has more than 60 multilingual characters or accents. And also I would highly appreciate if you click the blue button here. So now let's go back to the design. So now we can add the custom lettering. And because we need to make it vector we go to image trace. Black and white. And we also click the ignore white. Then we're going to expand. Now we have it in vector format. It would be better to change the color to white. Increase the size a bit and now we can also add a stroke. I will choose a black color and I will make it around 10 points. We also set the align of the stroke to outside and we have completed the design. I hope you like this tutorial and the free font and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Till next time, like, share and subscribe. Bye.